Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Emmanuel Valtierra. My name is Kevin Garcia. I'm a writer. I'm an illustrator. We're working on a project that we really want to tell the world about. Exactly. What is that project? <laughs> we are working on a comic book for you guys. Our comic book is going to be about the Aztec cultures because, Kevin, tell them why. A lot of artists like, say, Frank Miller would take legends like the Greeks and turn it into 300 where he's taking a story that's like over the top. We're doing that with the stories of ancient Mexico, but kind of telling it in the style of the sword and sorcery, kind of like what uh, Conan the Barbarian did, taking these, these ancient ideas and making them feel uh, what is right for today's audience. It's, it's always bothered me in a weird way that, that characters like Hercules and Zeus and Thor become household names all over the world, but not people like Wish the Pochli. Uh, I really want to get into this idea that the, the, the gods and, and the spirits and the beliefs of Mesoamerica are as, not just valid, but as interesting and exciting as the beliefs of cultures all around the world. So in wanting to tell the story, I started doing research. And the more research I did, the bigger the story got, the grander it got. I started realizing that everybody that we could put in this story is somebody from history. The main character is called Istayo, and uh, we find this guy to be really interesting. Um, he's a crazy guy. He will be called the first um, Aztec rebel. Kevin, do you think so? Yeah, you can see that. Istayo is basically the over-the-top action hero, the over-the-top, you know, the kind of guy you'd see in an 80s action flick or in a Conan the Barbarian book, but he is part of Mexican culture. He's, again, a real person from history. And what he's gonna do is basically realize, you know, this is what he wants for his people, this is what the role he wants to play. And in doing so, he's gonna have to kick a lot of butt. So at the same time, though, while these characters are over-the-top and masculine, I I'm trying to, over time, develop as much of a real personality as I can for both the male and female characters. The idea is that on the surface, they may seem over the top as, as an Aztec warrior, an Aztec knight, or, or the princess of this Mesoamerican culture. But as we get to know these characters more, we're going to be able to find out they are, again, real people. And things don't always work out the way they do in the movies. So our main characters are initially the four knights. Uh, they are the four knights who are protecting the world of the fifth sun, which by Aztec mythology is the current world we live in right now. And these four knights are the best of the best of their people, and they really, really want to represent that. Joining the knights are princesses of these ancient Mesoamerican cultures. And these princesses are, on the surface, uh, what you might expect from an adventure story. You know, they've got golden jewelry and, and fancy feathers everywhere. But as the story develops, they take a much stronger role. The gods are a major, major part of this. In the actual stories that tell the origin of Tenochtitlan, the gods had invested interest in the princesses and who they are and what they represented. And I want to get into why the gods wanted those princesses so much and why the knights are so important in telling the story. Right now we're focusing on chapter one. We're focusing on the beginning of this story, the first part, the introduction to this world, but ultimately we want to have a completed graphic novel, the kind of thing that you could see on a library shelf, the kind of thing that would maybe not tell the complete historical story, but, but tell the story in a way that is digestible and, and brings in as much real history and real culture as possible. We're calling the book Teoatl, which is a word that means holy water, sacred water, godly water. It can mean the ocean, but in the right context, it can be a metaphor for blood, the blood of battle, the blood of sacrifice. And that was just this idea that we really wanted centralized in our story. We believe we are in the right time and on the right place to release these kind of stories. Mexican culture are growing, is growing a lot. And uh, so it's just perfect timing for us to release our comic. Just to let you know, guys, this is the first time I'm drawing a comic. This is also the first time that Kevin is going to be writing a comic. I've been a professional researcher for Marvel Comics. I worked with Marvel for about 10 years. It was really, really fun getting into the histories of all of these really epic characters, but I wanted to tell my own story. And when Emmanuel approached me, I said, yeah, this is something that we can do. So this is the first time that I've ever written panel to panel a comic. If you guys know my previous work, you know that I already work on books. Uh, a lot of cards that also involve the Aztec culture. But then again, this is my first time in which I'm gonna be drawing comics. So this is very special for me, for us, I will say. We're counting on you guys for your support on this project. We really hope you guys were gonna be excited about this. We really want to give something that audiences are gonna to wanna to pick up and read. And if this is something that you care about, please let us know you care about it. Give us your feedback. Tell other people about it. 
What we really need though is support. We need people that can help us make this happen. Right now, I've been researching and writing, Emmanuel has been drawing, designing, but we would need to be able to publish. We would need to be able to uh, take the time it takes to do the research and the art and the writing. Um, and for that, we need your help. We've been working on this project for a few months. Uh, if you like it, please share it. So that's our introduction to Teo Adel. We wanted to invite you guys into our world and show you what we want to show the world. And with your support, we can make this happen, right? Yes, uh, thank you guys for listening to us, mostly Kevin, and uh, we see you at Mixed Land. Ooh, I love that. Wait, in the land of the dead? Yeah, we all gonna die at some point. You're not wrong. <laughs>